always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. And we should have a really excellent sunrise here over the next couple of hours. We don't have any clouds in the sky right now, and we're dealing with pretty mild conditions. Temperatures a lot warmer than they have been previous mornings. A look around the region, you can maybe see some of those flags blowing in the distance. That is really going to be the one drawback of today. We do have winds coming from the south at about 5 to 15 miles per hour, but that's also the reason why your temperatures are so warm this morning. It's 57 right now in Grand Rapids, 53 in Hastings as well as in Battle Creek, even already hitting the 60s up north in Letting and Muskegon. So a lot of these temperatures that you're seeing now are going to be close to our lows and are warmer than some of our highs that we had this week. So we've really turned that corner and we'll continue to do just that. You'll notice a few patchy clouds attempting to develop, especially near and along the lakeshore, but sunshine certainly will be the theme of your day. Your future cast is going to be extremely quiet. Again, the really only thing we're tracking are those winds. So keep an eye out for that. If you do have outdoor plans today, it will be breezy at times. We can see wind gusts upwards of about 25, maybe even up to 30 miles an hour. As we look ahead to Sunday, a few changes. We'll see a little bit of cloud cover develop in the morning. We'll still call it a mostly sunny afternoon. That cloud cover is ahead of a system that will impact us early next week and will also be our next rain chance. But for today, enjoy it. 74 will be your high. As mentioned, our average high temperature on the state should be near 58, so we are well above normal. Uh, breezy conditions, again, the one drawback that we'll have to keep an eye on. And really, when we take a look at the last couple of weekends, you may have recalled we had a nine-day streak of rain that ended officially on Thursday morning and it's been chilly out there. We saw highs in the 40s and in the 50s and our average high last weekend was about 52 degrees which is about 5 to 10 degrees below normal. This weekend though our average high temperature will be sitting in those mid 70s. We'll be in the 70s not only this afternoon but headed into Sunday and we'll even hold on to some of those warmer conditions as we move into early next week. That being said when we have warm conditions and we have that strong southerly wind it does feed in the chance for showers and we're going to see that and that's going to drop off your temperatures a little bit. So 70s through about Monday. We're in the upper 60s on Tuesday and then you'll notice a fairly sharp decline on Wednesday and Thursday. The temperatures in those 50s which is a degree or two below normal. So it's a little bit of an active eight day forecast but compared to what we just had it's will be a nice change of pace. 74 is your high today up to 75 on Sunday. If we look ahead to Monday and Tuesday we'll start to see a little bit of a drawback there. Temperatures are going to fall behind this system as a cold front does sweep through and along Along with that, next weekend should be a lot cooler. But again, for October, sunshine and 50s can't complain too much. But again, today is certainly going to feel like summer. Yeah, definitely can't complain about today's weather at all. But I know those 50s uh, are going to feel a little strange after 70s. <laughs> definitely, for sure. And I think today is going to feel a little bit strange. Even this oh, morning, yeah. it's warmer in here. It was warmer outside. Yep. I was a little taken aback. <laughs> I noticed that too. Thanks, Sarah.